Hey guys, back again, and now let's continue with the, let me see, the book details that you can see we can go to this uh, book with the ID. Okay, but if we go back, you can see that what I was uh, saying before, that we didn't remove the five, but since it's reading from that book, um, that data, that TS, file then it's going to delete everything that is not there it's going to um, overwrite what we have so this post actually is going to be um quite not complex but even for this simple functionality we're going to do some things so i'm going to go through there pretty fast. I hope uh, that doesn't bother you. So let's select this and paste it. So we are going to use activated route and router from Angular Router, as you can see, form group, form control, and validators because we're going to allow the um, object to be edited. Angular forms that comes from Angular forms, the book service, the books query, and the book store and also the subscription in order to close the subscription that is going to be added. Now I'm going to add some information inside my constructor. Paste that, so let's break that down, okay. Let's go there. I should have, okay, it looks. And now, this, this is the last one. Okay, so we have the book service, the book query, the book store, the route, and the router. So let's save that. Now, we can continue and create. Let's go through this pretty fast. Um, I expect you to understand what the hell is going on here. So, I don't know why this is added like that. Thanks, VS Code. Okay. So we're going to create a new subscription called books subscription and with the current ID that we're getting from the snapshot param map and the ID we get inside here. So if we click one, we get the ID here. So this is what we are grabbing. Now we're going to select or create a new variable called current book which is null at this point. We're going to add the form, the edit form that is going to have the name, description, price, and author. And is this, yes, this is pretty big, a pretty big function, but we're going to type it by hand because I know sometimes it's better to do that. So let's say public async, if I can type, get current book if this that book service that get book. And I will explain why I am doing this because we're going to, I think we are going to do this in the other application that we're going to create using Firebase, current ID is not equals to undefined because something pretty funny happens with Akita that although it's pretty easy to set up and um, use it, it has a little behavior when we try to refresh that is not going to work for us in order to match or to fetch from the store. So it kind of resets everything and we need to do it in the uh, in this raw way. So we're going to say await new promise. And I'm going to skip those. Um, I'm not going to show you how it looks in the browser. So we're going to just go right to this fix for something that you are not going to see but 
this is going to make the video faster. So subscription is going to be equals to this that book service that get book. We have that function. Then once the ID, so we add the current ID. Now we can subscribe to that and say book. So we receive a book there and this that current book is going to be equals to that book so that is the information we receive from the um, from the store and we resolve this because this is a new promise so we want to resolve that inside and yes now this is the await so after that await is done let's add some space in there we're going to do the next thing that is to add or set the values of the edit form to be what we have. So this is filling the um, the form that is going to allow us to edit and update the data. So this is filling with the information that we have using the current ID inside this get book and matching this that current book to what we receive that stores the information of that book. So this is what we're setting here, setting all that we are going to allow the user to um, update. And now, so we have this if, okay, else. So when this is going to be triggered, when we refresh the application, okay, it's going to set this um, book service and the ID or the object as um, undefined, even though if we have it in the file, it's going to be the same. It's going to say it as undefined and we will need to check by hand again in order to receive that book information and to make the application work again after a refresh. So await this that in book service sorry and if okay let me just re-explain this this is if is not undefined meaning we are selecting it from the application and going to the page after we click go to book details okay that is not going to be undefined okay so i got those uh, mixed so sorry about that. This is from the application and what we're going to do here is when we refresh, okay? In case we refresh, we're going to lose the track of the entities. So we will need to get all the entities again because I said it's, it's funny because we will need to do it by hand, something that Akita does for us. We're going to do it by hand because Akita loses track when we refresh the application. So this is something that you are not going to see in the reading tutorials. Um, I forgot I will add something in the tutorial on which I'm basing this. That is not mine, of course, but this is actually a mine. I um, added functionality to the tutorial, okay, but I'm going to add that. In case you know if you want to check that out something more basic than what I'm doing so um, what the hell okay I wait sorry this I wait new promise resolve and we're going to say this that subscription book subscription is going to be equals to this that books query yeah that select entity and we're going to pass this that current ID that is the ID that we receive from the um, from the URL Let's subscribe now book so we're going to select from this book service, first we need to get everything and then using the query, select everything that is already added. So this is going to, let me add a comment here so you can understand. 
getting okay getting all from the that book book that data that ts again because i forgot what i forgot the data okay because Akita forgets, kind of forgets the information that we have when we refresh. Okay. So we need to select that now that we have in this line 53. That's why we're using await. Now that we have again the store built in, we can select again using the current ID. And now everything should be fine after this. So we're going to set this, that current book. It is going to be equal to this book, and if we're going to do something here, if this is not equal to undefined because name undefined at this point, we can receive something that uh, the book is not defined. Okay, so we will check, and thanks to the subscription, we can check that this is returning correctly this that edit form and let me just copy that okay we have this and after this single uh, curly bracket we resolve okay so thanks to the subscription we can check when this thing is um, is defined after here you can use well you might think this is already defined but you know uh, sometimes it happens before it's fully um, set so we will need to check inside the subscription if this book is already defined if we can grab the information inside it and then use it in order to set the values for the form controls inside the form so we can edit those and this should be fine we have two there let's add a semicolon there okay always add semicolons for good luck now let's already finish this because we have some other functions here that are pretty small public async edit book we are going to get from data, I'm going to say it as any, you can say it as from data, it should work, but you know, sometimes we say it as any because we don't want to deal with um, this, is it, um, you know how TypeScript works, sometimes if you define something, it needs to be that, okay? So we're going to pass inside this update the form data, so this that current ID, we need the ID first and then the form data that is type any, so it's going to accept it. Now the delete, delete book, <laughs> what the hell, delete book, this that book service that remove this that current book ID, no current ID. We add a semicolon there, and let's say, well, we haven't added that, so let's say this that get current book using. Okay, no, it's going to it's going to add the ID inside this function, and we can console that log. Again, I added that wrong console.log, I try to type fast, but it's not working, this, that, current book. So we receive, or we can see inside the console, this should, no, okay, it didn't add that. So let's save this, and we need to add, do I have it? Nope. On destroy, and a implements on init and on destroy, so we need to actually add the on destroy below ng on destroy 
and this that <laughs> what the hell this that book subscription that unsubscribe so we close that in order to avoid memory leaks okay so let's go now to the HTML that well it's kinda so let's grab this first book component book works yes we know so if the current book is equal to nulls is equals to null we're going to set this h1 to loading you can also add um, a loader here so that's pretty nice that is built in we don't have to do that and then the template is going to be a section this book template the section class book and we're going to add information using the current book that we have defined then this is the form that is going to allow us to update the information and the button that is going to call the delete book function that is going to allow us to delete a book but of course we will have some funky behavior because this is not going to um, fully work because remember that after we go here it's going to refetch this from a file so even if we delete that it's going to be displayed and after we go back here so let's say something whatever we want sounds good novel science fiction let's say 45 bucks and we have this we can go to book details and we receive the details although it's just crap we receive the details and you can see the id5 name blah, 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 blah. okay so let's even do something more like this let's just say novel whatever and let's add you can um, change all this so it works better but remember that this is just for testing so we don't mind too much about it i will add um, the styles in a second so you can see we have five and six let's close that okay so it well we have five and six so the six is gg book details and we can see gg and you must say go 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 go, go. submit you can say it changed go 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 okay so everything is working if i change the price to be something like 12 submit it changed the file the, the file <laughs> the price to 12 and if i say delete it's going to delete it you can see we only have five and we don't have go 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 go, go <laughs> inside that anymore so it gets stuck inside this loading because we are not setting actually a redirection even though we are um, adding the router inside the constructor so let me add just the so let me save that because i changed it i removed something and let me just go to the styles copy all this and i will show you of course in case you want them go to the styles paste it you can hear a bike there and it's, it's only the body i will scroll down the body nav nav ul nav ul list a or anchor and the header so you can see that this is a url from on splash i will show you in a second so we have we have the header div h1 header div books container the section that book section class book and form the form form everything from input and text area inside the form because we need to match that from input type submit we have the books class the book the book anchor the book div so the div that is immediately after or inside this book and the button that is going to allow us to delete so we already have that saved and we can see we have this um, a statue of a lion that actually looks pretty good and you can see we have all the styles book details we can see all this and we can see the form and if i refresh it's going to take a bit 
but it's going to add again the information because it's going to refetch again so we get everything and we can delete but of course it's going to add everything back again here so you can see we can select multiple of this and that is all I think 20,000 gigs under the sea and yep that's it just a simple application in order to show you how to work or how, how to start working with Akita and that's all I will record the preview right now and add it inside the channel so you can see that and this is all I will try just a side note to add something around this week the week that starts with the 29th and depending on how I'm how busy I am because I need to wait for this freaking week to end to see what I'm going to do so I've been busy as hell so uh, yeah because I haven't forgotten about the MERN stack that I need to add because not the MERN sorry the MIN stack we already have the MERN so we're still uh, missing the MIN um, client I will try to record that if I have the time during the week that starts in the 22nd if not we should have that I hope so around the um, start of the next year around the 5th that week so um, yeah in case you are waiting for that that is what is going on so I will try to to add it so yeah, that's all and see you in the next one.